Okay. Cut the. What? What? What is? Like, what's going on? Why? Why people be talking about this and the third? Why? Why they don't like it? Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Vizzy, for those of you who do not know. In today's video, we will be talking about no job, no rate, what to do, okay, the next steps. So please tune in to this video and don't forget to like this video, thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and definitely comment down below for more um, videos. Let's get into the video. So I actually came in in the C, the Seaman pack, the C pack, um, program I didn't come in with a job I didn't have a rate anything like that I was just a floater that's how I describe it so how do you go from having no job to having a job I definitely will tell you so please keep listening how I went from being undesignated to being a logistics specialist in LS so I went to boot camp obviously I did my two months and whatnot I went to a school I think um undesignation a school is for 10 days please do not quote me on that because i actually was in a school uh, like in that area for about a month or so because i was on hold but i think the actual class days were between 10 and 14 days but please don't quote me on that um it was pretty decent i really had like learning about the information and i thought it was really cool like to know that oh my god this is everything that happens on the ship like i was just amazed by it i like learning new information so it was interesting to me it might not be interesting to you guys but yeah so then i got to my first ship and i that's when my life changed as an undesignated seaman you will be or even uh i don't want to even just say undesignated seaman because you be, you can come in undesignated airman where you will be doing like work if you come on an aircraft carrier you'll be working on a flight deck or you know you might be doing fuel maintenance like fueling the aircraft or if you're undesignated seaman you might be doing things like standing watch in the pilot house i literally lost my train of thought for a second but you'll be standing watch in a pilot house or just all over the ship just making sure the ship is operating it's moving how it's supposed to and different things like that so that's those the type of things you'll be doing as an undesignated seaman i really don't know much about undesignated airmen but i do know that they do work on the, the flight that anything to do with aircraft there that's that's what they're doing whether it's maintenance for it cleaning up for it and that's the same thing with undesignated seaman you're cleaning up for the ship you're doing things in relation to the ship maintenance in relation to the ship so one of the pros i learn or i have is that you have the opportunity of seeing what each job that you're interested in or just in general what jobs are on that ship or at that building that you work you get to see what they do and if you can and you also have the time to imagine if you see yourself doing that job another thing is that you have a year minimum to um be able to set yourself up for success by getting qualifications and doing things for you you so you really don't have that focus of getting in rate qualifications you're getting broad qualifications so when you finally pick up your rate then the only thing you're focusing on are your in rate qualifications to make to set you aside the the next person so if you come in and already have your broad qualifications your general qualifications and then you come into your rate and you get your qualifications for that rate you're going to be 100 percent successful period there are so many different pros but those are the two that very those are the two that stood out the most to me those are the two that i wanted to definitely bring up and get out there because those are the two most important ones in my opinion the fact that you do have that time to sit and think before you just get into it yeah now on to the cons because i'm pretty sure that's why you guys really want to know you want to know okay cut the what 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 is like what's going on what why people be talking about this that and the third why why they don't like it i got you i'm gonna tell you the cons the biggest thing for me was i felt out of place i felt like i didn't belong i felt i was entering into a place where i was just i was just there like you have these rated bosun's mates they went to school for this this is what they do they're they get the test and advance on to the next level and you're just here and you're working and it's just like oh i feel so out of place like it's like going into a hospital and you're not a doctor you're not a nurse 
you could just be a janitor or something like that but then they put you i don't even know how to explain you just feel so out of place and it's just kind of like what do i do so as i just said the bms the bolton mates they get to advance they get to go on move up or even the uh the aviation side of it the aviation bolton mates and all the other uh, ra uh race the aviation ordinance handlers and all of those things like you see them advancing and you're just sitting there like oh, when's my time gonna come <sighs> maybe one day life is so this is the next one by the way life is so hard life is so long it feels like your days are so long and it feels like you got 10 years older in a snap of a finger and i'm just like but I'm only 19, what, I got gray hair. That's how it feels. But it doesn't last forever. Like I said, it's a minimum of a year. Like, like it might seem that you can't do it, but I did it, you definitely can do it. It's all a mentality thing. If you are a strong person, in which I believe every one of you are, because you wouldn't be sitting here watching this video, video and thinking on joining the, the military, the Navy, or even going into the military the Navy. So you're strong and you guys stick through. If you get through boot camp, you can definitely get through that year of not having a job. I promise. This is just like a little bonus, little throw in note. One of the things that I wish that the uh, semen pack or the air pack program still offered was that when you came in at E3, like you graduated boot camp at E3 or you enlisted as an E3, excuse me, that you can, you don't have to wait a year to start picking for jobs, for rates, but now that doesn't even matter anymore. You still have to wait the one year. So that's the only like really, really, really downfall to the program because it really sucks when you have all these E3s coming in and it used to be they only had to wait six months and now it's a year, so that really sucks. So thank you guys for tuning into this video. I really love that you stayed and watched this video. If you have any more questions or videos, video suggestions, do not forget to comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up and definitely subscribe. Turn on your post notification for more videos like this. Thank you. Bye.